Good morning, thank you for joining me. Welcome to another video. I hope everybody's well. Um, first of all, I should explain this strange ponytail affair thing I've got on the top of my head for filming. Um, when I film these try-on videos, I always end up looking like something that the cat's dragged through the hedge backwards. I think I'm mixing my metaphor the fours there, but you get the point. Um, so it's just easier to put my hair in a ponytail on top of my head um, for all the trying on and off and on and off. Um, so yes, that's why I'm looking like that. Also, my roots look, they don't look nearly as bad in the mirror as they're looking at the camera. So um, apologies for that as well. Anyway, today I have a try on haul for you. It's not massive and it's all tops so and one sort of dress come top type of thing um, it's from two different shops we're going to start um we've got evans um which i haven't bought from for ages i used to have an evans in my local town i used to buy a lot of my clothes from there but sadly a few years ago it closed down and then the next local one closed down and now i don't, I don't think there's any evans shops at all are there i think it's all online and correct me if i'm wrong in the comments but um yeah, I'm pretty sure that it's just an online brand now, which is a shame because I, I do enjoy going into a shop and seeing clothes and touching them as well as buying online occasionally, you know, for things that I can't necessarily get locally. But anyway, hey ho, such is life. This is how it's gone now, isn't it? So I've got three tops from Evans to try on. I've also got some bits from Bon Marche. Now, Bon Marche is a store that we do have locally. I actually went into a physical shop and bought these items yesterday. Um, and it's one that you guys have suggested um, to me for doing a try-on type video or haul try-on type video in the past. And it's never been a shop that's appealed to me particularly. However, I went in yesterday and they've got a new range, um, like, made in Italy with, um, sorry, I was trying to think of the name of the, the girl who was a weather presenter, Andrea, I think she was a weather presenter, Andrea McLean, I think she's called, um, and it's in collaboration with her, and it's sort of a sub-brand of Bon Marche, and it's made in Italy, is the, the, what the name of the range is, and it was really my type of stuff, there was some really lovely, I could have spent a fortune on it, actually, but, um, I just got three things from there to try on, don't know what the sizing's like or anything, so we shall see, because it's the first time I've bought from there, um, Let's start with the Evan stuff though. I always say at the beginning of these videos that I am five foot three, I am approximately a 22 on the top and approximately an 18 on the bottom, um, just so people can get an idea of how things fit and look on me and my size. Um, what I have done with two of the tops that I've chosen from Evans, because you guys tell me so often that I ought to size down on the top, um, I've bought them in two different sizes. I've bought them in the size that I would naturally buy as a when I would normally be shopping, and I've bought them a size down so we can try both and see which I'm more comfortable in. And without further ado, because we're now four minutes in, let's get to the clothes. I should also say I will link everything I've purchased in the description box below if you want to click through and get more info. Now, this is the first top I bought from Evans. Um, this is my natural, what I would naturally buy as a 22-24. I think that's right. Have I bought it in a 22-24? God, my eyesight is getting worse, honestly. And I love the big bold animal print. I love the autumnal colours, the sort of beige with the slightly brighter orangey, orangey brown on it. Um, I love an animal print. I love the shape of this. What I was looking for was just everyday tops. I've got rid of quite a few everyday tops recently and I wanted something just to wear with jeans or leggings. Um, just sort of casual, you know? So I like the look of this. It looks to me to be the right size, but we shall see because I have got it in a size down as well. I'm gonna try this one on first. Okay. I like this. It's slightly longer than I would have liked ideally. However, um, quite often that happens with me with being five foot three and sort of long. I like them to cover my bottom, <laughs> but this one I feel like at the sides where it goes longer it's just a little bit too long however I really like the rest of it I, for me this is the type of fit I like you see and I feel comfortable in however I will try on the one that's one size down just to see um, but yeah I, li I like the scoop neck I like the um, fabric it's it's jersey but it's 
got a very slight slip to it so almost like a sheen so um it's quite lightweight but you could layer it up with cardigans and what have you for um why should I say what have you? I never say what have you. Where did that come from? Um, but yeah, I, I like this one. I think it's nice. Okay, this is the size down. Now, I immediately don't like this. I don't know how easy this will be to pick up on the camera, but I have two sort of rolls of fat, if you like. <laughs> Love handles, do they call them? Going around here. And this just doesn't skim over them as nicely as the previous one did. I... I feel conscious of that so that for me it's not other than that it's not bad um is it i think it is slightly shorter which i quite like but yeah i feel like it's more clingy on my bum as well yeah that one definitely yes if i look sideways it's sort of you know how when you've got a big bum thing sort of cling around it yeah that one definitely isn't for me so let me know which you thought was better bearing in mind you can't see completely what i can see from the angles <laughs> but um yeah i don't like that the way that clings around my bottom i'd rather sacrifice the longer length type of thing and have one that skims rather than clings i feel like this is more clingy than i would like it to be next and again i've bought this one in two sizes we've got this leopard print top this is more of a sort of tunicky one i think this one's going to be a bit shorter again love this print it's sort of a gray blue with a pink in the middle but a smaller leopard print on this one and this one has a bit of a dip back as well again the three quarter sleeves uh, more of a sort of swing tunic shape this one i would say okay this time i've tried on the smaller size first um again i do feel that it's clinging to these bits a little bit more than I would like. I would like a little bit more skimming over those bits. However, I think the bum is better in this, probably because of the dip back. I feel like this skims much more nicely over my bottom. Um, don't think I'll wear this with leggings as it's a little bit short of the front. I've got it on my leggings today, obviously. Um, but I would definitely wear it with jeans, that sort of thing and possibly even with a skirt, like a pencil skirt. But um, I love the colours, love the print, love the style of it. But just these bits here I'm not particularly thrilled about, but maybe, maybe I'm just being a little bit too picky. Let's try it in the big size and see what I think. Now this is interesting. I feel like this one, I don't know if I'm just really concentrating on these rolls of fat here, but I feel like this one does exactly the same. But this one is slightly longer, isn't it? Um, that one actually doesn't feel as nice on the back as the other one. So I think for this one, personally, I'd go with the smaller size. I think I'm going to keep the smaller size of this one because this one feels a little bit big under here, this one as well. So interesting experiments certainly the first one i felt more comfortable in the bigger size second one i felt more comfortable in the smaller size so let me know what you thought on those that's the end of the two different sizes of things but i've got one more top from evans to try final item from evans is this v-neck sort of swingy i've got one arm up and one arm down again three quarter sleeve again jersey um just a swingy tunic and i've got this one in a 22 24 um, I like everything about this. I was only going to keep two out of the three, but I think I really like all three, actually. feel like they're all really good, versatile daytime tops. I like the length on this one. Um, I like the colour. Teal green, this one, isn't it? I think we call this a teal. Um, yeah, really like this one as well. So, Right, we're going to move on to the Bon Marche finds now. The first one is from the Made in Italy range. Two are from the Made in Italy range, one is from their normal range. Um, the, the entire label has just fallen off this one, the actual label that's sewn into the neck <laughs> as I picked it up. It was £18 and it's a beige sort of, I don't know, tunic top with a tab and button sleeve and a little frill around the bottom. And it also came with this necklace like a statement 
necklace. I'm not showing you that very well, am I? Now, I bought this specifically to go with a leopard print sort of straight long skirt that I've got, jersey one. I'm sure you've seen it before. Um, I thought that would be nice with the this would be nice with that. Um, however, it will of course go with other things as well. This whole made in, it it's made in Italy range they've got in Bon Marche seems to be sort of this oversized style that I really like. Um, anyway, I bought this in a large. Went with a large rather than an extra large, bearing in mind what you guys say to me. So let's see what it looks like. Okay. From the front, I really like this. I like the tab and button sleeve detail. I think that's really pretty. Um, it sort of goes a bit wrong at the side. It's got this big crease in the back um, above my bum, which I don't like. And I'd rather it was one length all the way around. Honestly, I feel like I'd have been happier with the XL. Um, it, it clings on this bit again, which I don't particularly like. But I feel like this bit is just not quite right for me. If, it, if I was purely looking at it from the front, if it was the same all the way round, front to back, I think I'd like it more. I love the necklace, I think the necklace is really pretty. And I think 18 pounds is a really good price for this sort of lagoon looky vibe clothing. Um, but yeah, I like everything about it, apart from this bit that would need to be different for me. So I don't think that's a win, but there's things about it that I do like. Should also add, this top came in several different colors, as did this next one. This one was 20 pounds. Again, it's from the Made in Italy range in Bon Marche. Um, this one came in lots of colors. There was a sort of really nice mulberry pink color, and there were some neutrals It came in black. I liked this because, again, it's got the tab, tab and button sleeve and it's got the sequined heart on the bottom there. And I felt like this would be a good top. It's quite got a Christmassy vibe about it, hasn't it? It's quite festive. I like the silver seam down the front and around the neck. And I felt like you could wear this during the day, but also you could wear it out in an evening on a sort of smart casual evening over Christmas. I felt like that would be quite a versatile top. Again, I bought it in a large. It's sort of jersey with a bit of texture to it on the front. Um, let's try it on. I like this one. I like the, um, the sleeves are nice with the tab and button. Um, I like the way it dips at the back and is up at the front. It's sort of almost like a tulip shape. It comes out and then back in around the bottom, which I feel like is quite flattering. I don't know, perhaps it's not, but it feels like it to me. Feels nice to wear, it's super comfortable. Um, yeah, I just, I feel like this is nice. I, yeah, I think this is a nice top to have in, um, in your wardrobe for various Christmassy things, going out to drinks with friends, or when you don't want to be full on glam, but you want to be a little bit sparkly. I feel like this is, quite a good sort of mid option. Finally, and this is from Bon Marche's main range, this was £18. It's got little gold buttons on the top and I cannot tell you how soft the knit is. It's super, super soft. Sort of a medium weight knit, I would say. And what attracted me to this was I felt like I could wear it as a dress potentially with knee high boots and tights and also as a jumper. I bought this in a 22. I'm not sure what their sizing is like. It looks okay. Um, I have had a couple of Bon Marche things from charity shops before that have come up small on the sizing, but this was the biggest, I think they got to 24, um, but this was the biggest size they had in store. But I love the color of this. Very nice and autumnal, wintry. I love a deep purple. Um, burgundy, do we call it? I think this is more, you need more red in it to be burgundy but anyway let's stop talking and try it on this feels so nice and soft warm without being too heavy um it's a little bit clingy around here however i do like it i feel like i'd rather swap it for a 24 because of the clinginess quite nice at my bum there's no creasing or um not too bad anyway i mean it's not perfect but my bum's not perfect so there we go really um, I like the sleeves, you can wear them long, I tend to pull all sleeves on everything up because I don't like long sleeves. <laughs> um, as I said, it feels super soft. 
Not sure about the length, I feel like it could be a little bit short for a dress with tights. However, with leggings, I think it would be absolutely fine. It's um, definitely above the knee. I'm not sure I'd wear it with tights, but I think I would wear it with leggings. Not sure what the difference is. Or even with jeggings, you know. Um, but yeah, for me, I want it to be on my knees rather than above to wear with tights. But um, anyway, that's the end of my haul. Let me know which bits you liked, which bits you didn't. I'm going to link everything in the description box below. So if you want any more info on sizing or colours or what have you, all in there. Um, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye bye.